भुजावे नार जलतनी कर पुद रत्न फरमातु चलागी आश भक्तों ने के बक्षे नूर मातु आयाम शद मेहर बाबा चरण प तुझ न धरिए सर खुदाना जात थी वाकेफ थी बे ठो मेहर बातू तुझे मतनो अलीशा एंड आवर तुकिया और मोहम्मद एज वी कॉल एंड दिस इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी अबाउट अलीशा एंड हाउ अ मस्ट वुड गिव सर्विस टू अदर्स बिकॉज टू सर्व स्पिरिचुअल सोर्स इज अ ग्रेट थिंग एंड दिस इज अ टिपिकल एग्जाम्पल One day, my sister and I. Every day we used to visit these two. So one day we came to Alicia. We were sitting here on a chair, and we looked at his leg, and and on the calf of the leg, there was a festering wound, or about four inches by two inches. And we said, Oh my! How did Alicia get that horrible wound? And so then. we just rushed to mama we said mama give us the uh, the uh, the first aid kit and mother gave us the first aid kit and we brought it and we applied the little cotton wool and the spirit and we put uh, the uh, uh, the kit and we wiped the whole uh, What is that called? The wound, which is festering wound, and then we very lovingly bandaged that wound. After we bandaged the wound, uh, uh, then we thought that now we will wait till uh, Doctor Donkin comes, and we will tell Doctor Donkin that this has happened. So we went on, and. Uh, Uh, and what do you think when dr don when dr don came to we told him that some big fleshy wound is there on alisha's leg please come and look at it and do something so he comes with me with us and he says open oh, the bandage he was you know quite a little bit abrupt so, so but a lovely person lovely britisher but he had to his own way to so, open the bandage so he go open the bandage then He like removed the cotton and gauze, and what do you think? There was nothing. <laughs> There was absolutely no wound. And uh, uh, so my when so what it is is we looked at Dr. Donkin and we were scared that he would think we had cooked up a story to this effect. 
But uh, he is the one who has written the book on the mass. So how he, he knew all the traits of the mass. And so he, it, all he said in his typical British way, I understand. And he walked away. So this is the story. And when I went to my, and then I went to Mama and told this. So Mama says, you know what happened? Baba, uh, and, uh, Alicia has given you the opportunity, given both of you the opportunity to uh, serve him. Because that is very important. So my Mama Nargis said this to us. Jai Baba. This is the place where uh, our must Tukaram, or as we call it Tukya, the Hindus call it Tukya, and uh, the Muslims call it Muhammad. So this is where he lived. And Tukara, Tukya, as we call him, he was a very great friend of my sister and I. As I said, they were our great friends, the two must with whom we lived. And here is a very lovely story about to tell you that the mass they know the future of us. And of course they very rarely speak out. But this time Muhammad spoke out this uh, about my sister. My sister and I were here, he was seated on a chair and he says to my sister, my sister was ra rather a delicate person. Well, I was quite a tough girl, and uh, we four years difference between us. And uh, he was very fond of my sister, so we both were seated next to him. And he says to my sister, Little Lubai, uh, her name is Hilla, but he used to call her Little Lubai. So he said, Little Lubai, you know, one day you will get married. And it will be during monsoon season. Lots of rains will be there. And then after some time, you will have a little, little boy. And then he says, he, and then he turns towards the little servant who is next to her and says, Tani, her name was Tani Bai. He says, Tani, will you please look after my Hila's little boy's nappies and clothes. You see, little Bai is so delicate. She's like cotton or wood. How will she manage when she has the little boy? Will you look after him? Her. So the so Tani says, yes, yes. I will look after the little boy's nappies. I will close well, wash the nappies and I do everything for little Bai. And he was very pleased. And you won't believe uh, after some years, when Hila went to Bombay to do her, the Baba asked her to be a nurse. And when she went to be a nurse in that hospital, it was a uh, mixed community hospital. So my mother was upset and told Baba, Baba, don't send her to that hospital. There are there will be other community people, and you know she's so charming, and there will be trouble afterwards. So Baba says, I know better or you know, let her go to that hospital. And it so happened that a Hindu doctor, Dr. Devras Talwar, fell in love with her. And then with permission of Baba, when, when we took permission, Mother said, took permission. Baba said, uh, where there is true love, there is no question of caste or creed. And that is how then Mama gave Hila's hand in marriage to him. And then a son was born. His name is Deepak. And now they all live in England. And when when Hila was leaving Merabai, Tukia never, most of the time Tukia would be here. He would be uh, around this side only. But on that day, he he came on the porch at the back and when the train was passing by, he waved out to her to say goodbye. Jai Baba.
This is a very interesting story about Muhammad, whose bed was here, and he was uh, he used to lie on his bed. It's in the Mandi Hall, east side of the corner. Uh, Muhammad was very, uh, very, very ill that time, and uh, it so happened that I had come from Bombay, and uh, I saw Heather sitting next to Muhammad and looking very sad. And I said, what's the matter, Heather? So Heather says, uh, you know, Muhammad has been starving. He is on um, fast and he is not been eating for so many days, not drinking, nothing at all. And then when I looked, I found him looking miserable, absolutely dehydrated. Uh, the, the hands and legs they were all so worn out of thin. And then she says, uh, and then I saw, uh, I told her, I said, uh, uh, then Heather says, you know, we tried to give him sweet lime juice, but he's not taking anything. He just refuses. All of these days he has refused. But Nadu, you are his childhood friend. It might be possible that he may listen to you, she said like that. So then I just, I had kept my back in the corner, I went near him, I sat on a stool that was here. And I remembered my father's words. My father used to say that when you feed a must, you must never look at the food that you are giving. All you need to do is to keep on saying ba ba ba. When you weigh the must also, all you need to do is, if you don't look at his body, all you have to do is, you have to remember Baba and say Baba Baba. Because in that case, the sanskars that could come, because we are looking at the food or the body, it will be going to him. And that would disturb the work that the avatar or the, uh, the, uh, the sadhgurus would give them. And then the world would suffer. So that is what happened. This was the teaching my father had given. So what I did is, I, uh, she brought the sweet lime juice. I took it and for half an hour, I just sat beside it and I kept on saying in a sing song way, Baba's child, Mama, Baba's child, Mama, Baba's love. Mama, Baba loves. Mama, like that I went on in a sing song way for half an hour. And then after, I was so surprised, he opened his mouth a teeny weeny bit and I took a teaspoon and pushed it into his mouth and he broke his fast. So this was one instance. Then another instance was that because he was so weak and miserable and, uh, I, and for days together he was not out of his bed. So I took permission of Padre Kaka and he allowed me. I said, Padre Kaka, the trainers, let me sponge him. And he said, yes. So I sponged him. And while I was sponging him, I was all the time only saying, Baba Shai, Mama, Baba Shai. Tukia, and you know, and I spiced his whole body, and I found that the stomach was all concave inside. It was there was nothing. It was so thin, and so this is what is the story of the mus. Jai Baba. <laughs> Ratne Parma to Chalagi Ashapatone Kebakshe Nurei Matu Ayamu Shad Meher Baba Charan. Tujna dhariye sar <laughs>